Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make Reddit videos for YouTube using free AI tools. So if you want to make a video like this. Maximum safe amount of people to fit on a 27 footer for a day sail in Lieutenant Winds, while still being able to sail with O the engine. Anything I should know about sailing with more people aboard. There are three numbers. One is the number of people that and watch all the way through because I'm going to show you how to do it easily. Normally something like this would take a lot of cutting, cutting and pasting of text, recording of even text to speech would, would be a pain in the neck and then aligning the audio. But using simple AI tools and other free uh, techniques, making a video like this or even one that's better because I didn't really spend too much time on this uh, will be easy. All right, so watch. Uh, please be sure to watch all the way through, as there are quite a few steps, and if you miss it, you might not get the des desired results. All right, so let's begin. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go to Reddit and you want to find the thread that you like. Uh, for myself, I kind of into um, I'm into sailing, so this is the thread question I was asked by the, the poster, and what you want to do is you wanted to extract the text efficiently now yeah you can copy paste copy paste back and forth but that's not efficient it's going to take a lot of time so what i recommend you do is you install a google chrome extension called print friendly and you once it's installed you go ahead and click that and then from here you just delete what is unnecessary so okay because deleting is a lot once you organize everything it becomes a lot easier to uh, extract the text All right. so this is just an example I'm just deleting whatever is not necessary and you get the idea I don't need to continue alright so once it's done once you're done just click on print and from here you just copy the text you, you can now highlight the text in one shot without having to go back and forth alright so once you've been able to extract the text the next part you need to do is you need to go into Google Slides and you need to paste the text into a slide. Now, obviously, I didn't really spend much time on this, but you know, if you can spend more time, you can make it look better. <laughs> I'm pretty bad at uh, PowerPoint or Google Slides. I've been told that several times, but you know what? It, it's a different style of uh, Reddit video. So you can go ahead and paste a, the title topic here, and the question, an image, and then the, the, the original poster's question here, and then along with reply one, two, and three, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, making the uh, slides is pretty much the same, whether it's you know Google Slides or PowerPoint. But you want to make sure, there is one setting you have to make sure that you do, and I'm going to explain to you why later on. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure whatever's in the thread right here, whatever that you, you paste right here, you want to uh, put it in here. So whatever you want narrated, you need to put within the narration notes or present presentation notes right here and right here all right and make sure that it's uh, it's grammatically correct and it sounds all right because otherwise the text -to speech engine is going to uh, mangle the words all right so some things you might have to spell out like abbreviations such as um, LT okay so light right so in light light you might have to spell it out light winds so this is LT you might have this light winds okay and from here once you built out your your Google slides and you know it's to how you like it you got to do this important step you have to now have to go to file and when you download you have to download it as a um, Microsoft PowerPoint otherwise it's not gonna work all right, so please be sure you you download it as a Microsoft PowerPoint. All right, so once you've gone ahead and done that, and you have the file, you need to go into the AI tool called Narakit. Okay, and this one right here, simply let me go back to the, the tools. Okay, so from here, what you want to do is you want to go down to the uh, create a new video from a presentation All right so once you click on that okay they're going to have you upload the file 
right? So that that's why it says one one right here. Narration text becomes pre, uh, from a presenter note. So the text to speech voice right here is going to be coming directly from the presenter notes. That's why I told you to do that and make sure everything is spelled out. All right, and then let me upload the file. So we in this case I'm going to upload the the file that I made earlier. Now this is an online tool and yeah it does have like a restriction on the free account but it's quite generous um, <laughs> the free account is very very generous so you can go ahead and and you know use I think the free account is, is great um, if you want to help them out you can go ahead and upgrade I, I'm not affiliate with them I, I don't even have a commission if you go ahead and join this is just me using a tool that I like and I find really helpful all right so Sometimes there's mistakes that come up here, and you want to go ahead and check it out. In this case, it says uh, the first slide, slide one, is missing text narration. Um, you can go ahead and add it if you want to. I, I, I'm just going to ignore it. Okay, so then for me, I just ignore the warnings and let and go ahead and create the video. Now, before you create the video, you could also edit the settings. There are a few settings that you can go ahead and edit. Now you can change the size you can change the language of the text-to-speech um, person so in the demo video I had English British but you can go uh, English American Canadian Australian New Zealand Irish Indian uh, South South African accent Nigerian Filipino so th there's a wide range of different dialects of English right here and then they have Arabic and different languages so um, you, know, you you can this is very useful this is not just for uh, English speakers I'm gonna switch it up to um, uh, English American to see how it sounds and then you have different voices the first one is Mike you can play a sample of it right here New York City traces its origin okay that sounds a bit uh, grainy let me try Bill New York City trace hmm, Sarah New York City hmm, Jeff New York City traces its origins to a tr not too bad let me go with how about Tom New York City traces its origins to a trading post founded by colonists from the Dutch Republic. Okay, I, I, I well, let me try Jack. New York City traces its origins to a trading. No, I like Tom. All right, so then you got different uh, volumes. You got speed. You can put um, different music. I put easy listening, and then you got. Uh, I put the subtitles off because they have the text for that. Then once you're done with that, you can just go ahead and create the video. So it's going to take a while to <clears throat> process. I'm going to let it run for a little bit and then uh, you know I'm, I might pause it later on so you don't you know waste your time. But just to explain real quick, this uh, this is basically this narrow key. Uh, it used to be called video puppet and what it does is it takes um, PowerPoint slides and it it can create a video out of it almost semi automatically by adding by turning the presenter notes into text to speech narration. And just automatically forwarding the um, slide, so that you don't have. To, so it basically turns into a video. It it, it became becomes a video style presentation, and I found it very useful for creating that type of video. But I I, I tweaked it a bit in order to make it into a, uh, a Reddit video for YouTube. All right, and once it's done, here you go. You can go ahead and play the demo. All right, that's the music. I am fairly new to sailing, but was at least able to finish my first beer can race without incident last weekend, and feel decent about the basics. I am wondering what the maximum safe amount of people to fit on a 27-footer for a day sail in lieutenant winds, while still being able to sail with O the engine. Anything I should know about sailing with more people aboard? There are three numbers. One is the number of people that can okay. physically... Okay, and as you can see, it, it moves to the next slide automatically. And then it reads the the next pres presented presentation notes, and it does so uh, until the end of the video. Now, you can see the power within this type of um, Reddit video for YouTube because it's different. It, it gives it kind of like a homely feeling of you know you're listening to a, a maybe a, a Reddit post, but also maybe you listen to a presentation as well. Um, it, 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 it comes off as different. I, I think I, I get. T I think people are tired. I, I'm tired of, of seeing the same type of uh, style of, of Reddit Reddit posts. The only thing I would highly recommend, and this is not you know within the context of this video, but I just wanted to show you that uh, in order for you to get monetized, you will need to go ahead and um, add your own commentary in. 
So you know you want to go ahead and add your 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 own spin, your own interpretation of this. Don't just copy everything. Um, you want to say, okay, well, I found this useful, helpful. Maybe uh, I might want to go ahead and try these comments from this uh, poster. Whatever you want to do, you want to go ahead and add your own comments to this, so that it uh, you know you can get monetized. And the other thing is. I would recommend if you can just go ahead and use your own voice. And uh, Narakit can do that as well. Uh, it has a text to speech option. I demoed the text to speech option. It is the fastest option. But if you want to go ahead and add your own voice, you simply just record you you record the your audio portion of your narration and then attach it into the presenter notes and it will just go ahead and play it for you. So it's a very powerful tool. It's free. And uh, by doing it this way, you, you don't uh, you don't lose much money. You just lose, you know, basically the time to, it takes to learn how to use this. Uh, so I figured, you know, if this video was helpful, uh, could you please hit the like button? As it took a while for me to gather the material and uh, to research this technique. I'm Vince from Digital Managed 2, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.